well, let's see. You know, I don't know if I ended up here. I'm not done yet. Nice. I've still got a few, we got a little ways to go. Um, you know, actually, when this, this place started in 58, and in 1959, my cousin, who lived down in Venice on Walgrove Avenue, mm -hmm. which was very rural then, mm -hmm. uh, this place changed a lot yeah, in the 70s, anymore. 60s, yeah, oh yeah. boy, it just really changed. Um, but Caves was down the street, and he was taking banjo lessons there from a guy named Claude Reeves. Now, I was just a kid. Yeah. It was 1959, so I was about, I guess, uh, 10 years old. You need him? Oh. Oh. Oh, just Lois giving me the finger. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> that's Lois. Um, um, this was so, yeah, so as a kid, it was 1959. I'm, I'm trying to think how old was I? I was, I guess, I was 11. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I came in with my uncle in his Jeep, and my mm -hmm. uncle would pick up milk at the dairy that was right down the street here. It's a dairy and cows in Whoa. It, so, yeah. <laughs> and then we picked up milk, and then we came and uh, picked up my cousin from his banjo lessons. Mm -hmm. He'd ride his bike up, and then we'd pick him up, put the bike in the Jeep, and then he'd, he'd ride home. Yeah. And, um, um, and that was the first time I stepped into McCabe's. Ah. And then later, I was in school in Arizona as a kid, and a buddy of mine, his sister knew about McCabe's a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of reconnected me with the place, and I started learning guitar when I was about 16. Okay. Built a yeah. cheap guitar down in Mexico for about six dollars and thirty cents. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I remember I'm well. Now. <laughs> I'm keen to it, yeah. 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 I remember when they first guitar. Oh, my first guitar now belongs to my niece. Is it? Yeah. So, is there quality yeah. guitars still hanging around? It's around, I yeah. think. Although I think she might have destroyed it. She's afraid to tell me, but. You know. <laughs> Well, you know, I'll tell you, uh, it's a long story. I, I used to go to this club, there's a place called the Ash Grove. Mm -hmm. And when I was 16, I went there and I saw Lightning Hopkins. You know, you go play that just straight thumb style. Ooh. You know, and I, and I loved him. I yeah. just thought he was the best thing I'd ever seen in my life. Anyway, um, so I like the and I got to meet all these guys, all these country blues guys yeah. that I learned to play guitar from. Yeah. I learned ball neck guitar from Sun House and Book of Light, and I saw Furry Lewis, and Lightning Hopkins, who I mentioned, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Mississippi John Hurt was my idol in I high know. school. Yeah. I met him in New York City when I was off on a terror. Went to hang out Ooh. there when I was seventeen, and, and it was like there was Your eyes there deep. was John Hurt and. And he was at a place called Folk City or the Gaslighter, one of these little clubs out in the village at the time, 1965. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like, you know, meeting Jesus Christ. Actually, it wasn't because if Jesus Christ and John Hurt were there, I'd go and shake hands with John Hurt. You know, I was just absolutely knocked yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, that yes. he was there, and he was a really nice guy. We uh, had a drink together, and, uh, and I got to see, and he showed me all the way he played stuff, and all that kind of stuff. And, and to this day, I still, you know, uh, Beautiful. all those little, you know. Yeah. Actually, a little bit more Charlie Patton on that one, but uh, who I never met because he was long dead. But there's uh, uh, that stuff. I mean, everybody can still tell it. I played this uh, little John Knowles tune. John is a guy from Nashville. He's an amazing player. He wrote a little thing called Central City Flyer, and I still play it, but I play it the way John Hurt would have played it. Right. See, if I can do that for you, see. Yeah, no. Play part. Anyway, when I was in, uh, when I was in uh, uh, 
Wyoming, uh, the judges after I was, you know, I got to win and I was really pleased with that and all kind of junk. But uh, in both places, Utah I won, I won Wyoming, in both places they sort of said like, you really got a lot of that Mississippi style in it. I mean, I can't get away from it. So no matter what I play, kind of in there, it's, huh? it's, it's one of those versions. Yeah, yes. I, I can't help it. But, John yeah. Hurt was so infectious. He had the best uh, right hand of any so uh, huge see. Uh, uh, there's this little lick he did in a thing called Avalon, my hometown. And I got it wrong, but it goes something like this. years ago, yeah. Uh, yeah so, uh, Took me back to the season. But I, I play it all like as if it was Joan. Uh, I, I, can't, I hey, really can't help it. Hey. Sounds like a very cool person. John Hurt was really influenced him so much. He was just a wonderful guy. Just terrific. And one thing about these guys, when you've met Mississippi John Hurt or uh, 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 Fred McDowell is another guy, these guys just filled the room when they came in. They were amazing entertainers. They mm. were just the just the greatest. Of the I got to meet them all. It was great. That's where I got to learn guitar. So everybody says I'm self-taught, but I'm not because uh, I stole it all. Yeah. Here's a little one I'll play. Another one in E. I probably shouldn't. Uh, oh, here we go. All right. Here's an old Merle Travis. I met Merle Travis when I was 16. I saw Merle Travis. Got to see him play, and uh, came home, told my dad, "Man, when I grow up, I want to be a guitar player." Dad said, you can't have it both ways, son. <laughs> so, uh... Did he watch uh, <laughs> Be an accountant and a guitar player. But I heard that play, and I just didn't understand why everybody didn't throw that straight pick away and play with that three finger style like that. And now I know why. It ruined my life, I'll tell you. <laughs> whole thing called I Am a Pilgrim. Now this is an old hymn, and I got the sheet music to it, it's just a dirge. Is that right? Oh, it's awful, but these Pentecostal guys, I always say, okay. the Jews got the brains, but the Pentecost got the music. Yeah. Yeah. And their yeah. music is great. Yeah. I'll play and knock out a few bars of it. The old world travesty. Yeah.
That's amazing. That is special. Thank you yeah. so much.